Hi everyone, welcome to Carus House. Today we're going to be looking at this BB86 to Shimano Racing Edition Black Bottom Bracket from Hambini. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Um, first thing off, I have to say thank you to the illegal immigrant, one of my um, viewers, for putting me on the track to this Hambini bottom bracket. If you don't know, um, Hambini is a YouTuber. Um, check him out, I'll leave the description in the link below. Um, he's an aerospace engineer, he's worked on Formula One cars um, and lots of other stuff. Um, he has very little time for bad engineering and you'll see that is apparent when you are watching his videos. I was very skeptical about getting another push fit bearing bike. And here it is, the BB86 to Shimano Racing Edition black bottom bracket. Now this is not cheap because it's, ha it's made to order, I think, pretty much. And um, it has got aerospace precision. So this thing will not creak. I'm very hopeful. I haven't put it in my bike yet because as you can see, it's in my hand. This costs 170 pounds. That's right, 170. But you do get NTN, low friction bearings, 22 pounds each. So 44 pounds worth of bearings, um, which leaves the shell at 126. Okay, it's black. Um, he does make another type, which is a normal color uh, for 110, all in with the bearings. This is 170 because it's been, it's a heat treated alloy, so it's 20% stiffer. So I'm hoping, I'm very, very hopeful that I will not have any creaks with this press fit uh, button bracket. As I said, it's got aerospace tolerances. It's guaranteed not to slop around and it's guaranteed to fit exactly in the hole, providing the manufacturer of the bike has drilled the right hole in the frame. Not drilled, but left the right size, shape and dimensional hole in your frame. Um, as I said, it's got NTN. Um, Low friction bearings, or oh, these are NSK, sorry, my but my fault, they're NSK low friction bearings, and they are uh, 6805 bearings, as we can see. I don't know what that top mark is, let's just roll it around. 502 up there, not sure what that is. And we've got a one year warranty on the bottom bracket buddy. It's a fully serviceable design. Um, and the bearings are designed to be replaced quickly um, with the tool that he made for me as well. Um, that just fits into there and then you press them out, yeah? Um, that costs extra. We're not going into that today. We're just going into the bottom bracket. These are Delrin sleeves. They fit into the bearings. This is tolerance level exactly. So the Dalvin sleeves fit into the ends once you've pressed it into your bottom bracket. So this is designed uh, to interface with the Shimano 24mm Holotech 2 crankset, whether that be Sora, Tiagra, um, I'm going up, or 105, Ultegra, Dura Ace. Um, the dimensions are 41mm nominal inside diameter and 86.5mm wide. It comes with, if I can pull out the Darwin sleeve, it comes with an adapter so you can press it in made of Darwin. And on the other side, once I pull that out, this is for the other side. Um, so those are the to those are the things you get with it, these. I'll leave a link to Ambini's website and his YouTube channel. Check him out. Um, he pulls no punches. He's got no favorites when it comes to uh, manufacturers. If they're rubbish, he'll tell you on the video. We'll put that on my table, switch it on. Hopefully it's on grams unless the wife's been cooking or weighing stuff. Right, so 
uh, bottom bracket with the NSK low, ultra low friction bearings weighs uh, whoa, 95 grams with both the Darwin sleeves weighs 99 grams. The reason that this will be so good is because the bearings will be, pretend these are the bearings, they will be perfectly aligned this way, so they're not out of line. Oh, let me get this out of the way. They're not out of line, either vertically or horizontally, yeah? They're not out of line, they're perfectly in line, and they'll be perfectly angled, so there won't be any angular misalignment in the bearings, yeah, to make them creak. So these are going to be perfect. Perfectly aligned, perfectly straight, perfectly machined or made. Don't know how he makes it, but it looks really nice. Just a little video to show you what I've bought. I've not gone for the two piece screw in that I was looking at. Thanks for looking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And slowly but surely we're getting all the parts for this R9 frame. We'll see you on the next Kairos house. Like, subscribe, tell everyone, and hit the notification button for more videos. Take care, thank you very much. See you later boys, bye.